Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Uh, you might be asking yourself, why am I in my car? It's a good question. Uh, we are doing something a bit different today. We're going shopping. Uh, we're gonna head over to a local store, pick up some really nice corals for our reef tanks. Uh, then I wanna show you guys my whole process for how I acclimate my corals, kinda walk you through that, maybe give you guys some tips for your own reef tanks at home. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get driving. And we are back. Got stuck in a little bit of traffic along the way, but that's all right. Uh, so we picked up a really nice group of corals from our shop, and now we're gonna start adding them to our aquarium. Now, how are we gonna do that? The drip acclimation method. Now, drip acclimating is best used for fish and invertebrates such as corals that are a little bit more delicate, a little more sensitive, that they don't handle change as well as some other species. Uh, it's most commonly used in saltwater tanks, but there's plenty of freshwater species discus probably being the most popular, uh, that do really benefit from drip acclimation as well. Now, drip acclimation, as the name suggests, basically just means adding water from your display tank to a container with the new organisms very slowly. We're gonna use a piece of airline tubing in order to do that. So I'm gonna get started and give you some tips along the way. I'm going to start by adding the new corals to a small bucket. All of these corals came from the same tank in the store, so we can acclimate them together. If they had been from different tanks, we do this whole process with multiple buckets. It's important to not drip acclimate fish or invertebrates you've purchased online. When an organism is in a bag for a long period of time, the pH of the water slowly drops as a result of respiration. Although this may sound bad, it actually helps protect the animal from the buildup of ammonia in the water, as ammonia is less toxic at lower pH levels. As soon as you open the bag, though, the pH jumps back up and the ammonia becomes far more toxic. You want to get the fish or invert out of that water as soon as possible. Simply float things you've bought online and keep drip acclimation for stuff you buy at local shops. With our new corals in their bucket, we can start the drip acclimation. I recommend doing this process for at least half an hour, although for more delicate, sensitive species, you may want to do it for longer. I've tied a loose knot in the airline tubing to help control the flow. You can also use an airway control valve, but I didn't have one on hand. So now we're all set up. 
I'm going to leave this for about an hour, and then we'll add the corals to the tank. I'm adding the corals to the tank now. I'm first just placing them within the rockwork without cementing them into position. I'll leave them like this for about a week or so, just to make sure they're happy in their location, and then I'll use Fluval C epoxy to glue them into place. There's a short spine urchin in this tank, also known as a rock burrowing urchin, and he's a real bulldozer, so it's important to epoxy everything into place. Here's how everything looks immediately after being added to the tank. And here is how everything looks the next day. You can tell the corals are comfortable and that the drip acclimation served its purpose. And that is it! If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Hit like if you enjoyed the video, and be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.